So Black Friday this year is going to be November the 29th. Cyber Monday is going to be December 2nd. And if you don't do something as basic as make sure that your stuff is shipped and available for sale, you're going to be left out in the cold. What's going on everybody? It is Manny and I am back with another video. Well, Amazon recently sent out an email to lay out exactly what kind of shipping deadlines its uh, sellers need to take to make sure that your inventory is there and online so that you can sell your stuff on Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and it also tells you when your drop dead date should be as far as shipping to guarantee that your stuff could be available and live to sell before the holiday ends. So as you can see right here, Amazon is telling us that the actual deadline to guarantee that your product is live and in the warehouse for Black Friday sales is November the 6th. You should have November 6th in the back of your head as the guaranteed date to ship, have Amazon receive, and in some cases distribute to other warehouses so that your items could be available for sale on Black Friday and just as importantly, Cyber Monday. So Black Friday this year is going to be November the 29th. Cyber Monday is going to be December 2nd. And if you don't do something as basic as make sure that your stuff is shipped and available for sale, you're going to be left out in the cold. They also specify that if you want to send in your stuff, the last shipment that they will receive that guarantees that your product is going to be live and be able to be sold before the holiday season ends is December the 3rd. So if you ship after November the 6th or December the 3rd, does that mean that you're going to miss those cutoffs completely? Probably not. But what Amazon is doing is they're giving you these dates to give yourself enough of a time cushion so that your stuff is available for sale and you can make some pretty serious money. If you're a couple of days off of either one of those time frames, you're probably still going to be okay. But if you're not okay, Amazon has this in place to cover themselves so that you can't really complain to them about anything. Having a really solid understanding of best practices for shipping in your FBA business is something that you really want to lock up, especially for seasonal times of the year where dates are pretty tight and you have a couple of weeks as far as a window goes. If you're a bookseller and you haven't been through a fourth quarter with Amazon as far as retail products go, there really is nothing like it. The closest thing you're going to find is your August and September textbook rush. It really is pretty much like printing paper. If you're sourcing good items and have really good practices in place, you can make as much money as you're willing to. Now, during that entire time, I'm still going to be shipping out books and CDs because if they are seasonal or if they're just really well ranked, you're still going to take advantage of the holiday rush and how there are more people visiting the site and everything will get a bump if it's priced to sell and it sells quickly to begin with. But keep in mind that December 3rd deadline for uh, sales before the holiday season ends, uh, December 3rd is the date. You're going to want to make sure that you start wrapping up some of your FBA shipments so that you can still sell your stuff before the holiday season. I'm not going to be overly concerned because I know that with all of the gift cards that are given to people on the holiday season, there's still going to be a lot of shopping that goes on through the first week of January and beyond. So don't feel like if you miss that December 3rd deadline, you're going to get stuck with product. That is simply not true. Fourth quarter for me really begins on Black Friday. And it goes on into January because of that influx of gift card sales that happens. So don't think that it ends on Christmas. Now as far as I go, my personal deadline for shipping to Amazon is closer to the 7th, 8th, 9th of December. Uh, right around then is when I'm going to be shipping out my final shipment to Amazon FBA and I'm going to switch over to Merchant Fulfilling for the next week or so. That stuff is still going to hit the warehouse. It's still going to go live in time for those last minute sales but I want to remind you of one last thing. You cannot expect for Amazon to receive your product on the 21st or the 22nd of December, have the product sell and arrive on time to the buyer. There's another issue at play here and it has to do with the United States Postal Service and other carriers. 
they have to protect themselves as well. So they're going to put deadlines in place. The United States Postal Service is going to put a deadline in place around the 22nd of December, maybe on the 21st, where you have to ship by that specific date using that specific method if they're going to be arriving before the holiday season. So just keep that in mind. And that's the biggest reason why I switch over to Merchant Fulfill because I want to keep sourcing and I want to keep taking advantage of a fluctuating market where the prices go up even though the store prices stay flat. So I'm going to do an awful lot of retail arbitrage, but I'm also going to handle the fulfillment myself. And I will probably cut that off around the 20th of December with priority mail being the main method of fulfillment. So there you have it. Just to summarize, by November the 6th, you should have your shipments heading out to Amazon so that everything is live before Black Friday on November the 29th or Cyber Monday on December the 2nd. By December the 3rd, you should really be wrapping up most of your FBA shipments to make sure your stuff is live and it can sell before the holiday season. And if you're going to do Merchant Fulfill, it's a great time to do so because you're going to be able to capitalize on those changing prices day to day. But here's the question of the day. During the fourth quarter, are you still selling just books? Are you selling other media? Are you going to jump into retail arbitrage? Go ahead and put in your comments below because I think all of us are going to be on very different business models in the next month. Well, that's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see me make more videos like this one, please remember to share, like, and subscribe to support the channel. If you haven't liked this video yet, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and tap on that book bag right there. While you're in there, turn on those bell notifications and YouTube will let you know every time I drop a new video. Until next time, let's go make some money.